Good evening. Businesses are not the only ones bracing for rising water. People all along the Big Sioux are preparing for the worst as they hope for the best. In Sioux Falls, a nonprofit organization is helping city leaders get ready. On the night beat, Kelloland's Dan Santella shows you the work of the military and civilian group, Team Rumacon. Sherman Park in Sioux Falls is the city's distribution spot for sandbags. Helping make sure this machine is well oiled and humming along is Team Rubicon. We're kind of helping lead the operation um, and manage all these spontaneous volunteers that want to come and, and volunteer their time to help fill some sandbags. State Administrator Corey Schroeder describes it as an international disaster response organization. 20 people with the organization began work yesterday and will continue through Sunday. Military veterans, even some active military that are able to get time off and help deploy with us, National Guard uh, members, first responders, whether that's firefighters, EMS, dispatch, um, police officers, anyone that is a first responder. It's been really, really fun to sit at this table and talk with the volunteers and interact with them. Um, such big hearts and all want to help and do things. We've had people come and get sandbags and then say, you know what, I want to help others. Schroeder has seen what a disaster can do. From a personal experience, you know, I deployed down to Hurricane Harvey. Um, South Texas is my um, home, and you know, I got to see firsthand damage of what it did to my families, my friends, um, and neighbors' homes. And you know, just seeing the community and seeing Team Rubicon down there respond and help with that is really eye-opening. And I'm like, yeah, I, I want to do this. I want to want to help other communities on their worst days. If I can get out of bed in the morning and say, you know what, I'm going to do something good for somebody else. That's what life's all about. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Schroeder says Team Rubicon has responded to 13 disasters in the United States this year and 320 since it was launched in 2010. It has an international presence as well. Check out this story at Kelloland.com for a link to the organization's website.